So, wait for it, just got a new update and it's absolutely colossal. One of the first changes you'll notice when you enter the game is that the name is completely different, so it's not called Wayfort anymore, it's called Driving Empire. Now, I feel like the name change was unnecessary, but I don't mind this name either. However, I still do prefer Wayfort as a name for a game. The UI is completely different to what it used to be, and besides for that, it has multiple vehicle types which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. The dealership has a completely revamped UI, and even though it's not bad, I do still kind of prefer the old UI because it was sorted by brands while this is just every single vehicle sorted by price. Now, there is a ton of new vehicles in the update, but some of the vehicles I noticed that are new are the Aston Martin 177, the Lotus Evia, Evia, Evia. I don't know how to pronounce that name, not gonna lie. There's also things like the Daytomaso P72, and some cars, for example, the McLaren 765LT, which used to be a DLC car, isn't a DLC car anymore, which is pretty cool. Also, I'm aware that they're just game passes, but I'm just super used to saying DLC because of a lot of other games which I play. One thing that does surprise me is that this game still has real car models because a lot of Roblox games now have like fake car models because of copyright issues, so I'm really glad that this game still has real car models because I really do hate fake car models, they just don't look good and kind of ruin games. I do understand that it's hard to avoid, but real car models just look so much better in games, it's not even funny. Only GTA games have so far pulled it off quite well in my opinion. The car customization is also much better. You can change your primary color, rims and calipers, which you already could, but now you can also change your secondary if your car has it, the chrominess, your interior color, you can get wraps, and even change your license plate text. And a feature that I really really love when games have it, especially on Roblox, performance customization. More and more games recently started having it, but it used to be just Vehicle Simulator, and it's really nice to finally see more and more games getting it, especially Wayfort, well, what used to be Wayfort, cause I really love playing this, and it's such a good feature. You can change things like your suspension height, your engine tune, brakes, and tires. It's not much, but once again, it's still good customization, and it's better than nothing. The biggest change though, is the map. It's absolutely colossal now, and they still didn't manage to explore the whole thing and see all the little details. It's not a subtle change like the previous map changes used to be. It's completely new, and I still don't know the layout, but I'm so excited to try learning this layout, cause I love having new maps to explore. A couple of things that I did get to explore are the city, I found an airport, and there's those two really cool bridges and they look super nice in the night cause they light up and stuff. One thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that the races in the game are scattered around the map, so if you're unfamiliar with this map you're gonna have a hard time trying to find these races because the map is absolutely ginormous and I'll probably have a hard time trying to work coordinate around this place again. Anyways, that's the end of this video, it's just a bare bones coverage of the update, and if you want to see more content on this game and the update, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments if you do want this content. And also if you enjoy the content in general that I put on this channel, make sure to subscribe, you can always change your mind later on, but it really does help me and I really appreciate it. Anywho, I'll see you in the next video.